Good evening, and thank you for joining me. You're listening to the MediaSpeaks.com. Tonight, Obama's 300th drone strike in Pakistan. The article at the Bureau Investigates.com from December 3rd, 2012, by Alex K. Ross, Chris Woods, and Sarah Leo. A U.S. drone strike in Shin, Warsak, South Waziristan, on December 1st, 2012, marked the 300th drone strike in Pakistan of Barack Obama's presidency, according to Bureau Research. That's correct, I said 300. And each one of those strikes can kill multiple people and wound several others. The attack was the second since President Obama's re-election is not wasting any time. It reportedly killed Abdul Rehman al-Zaman Yemeni, described as an al-Qaeda commander, along with up to three others whoever they were. Although the pace of strikes has slowed considerably this year, they still managed to reach 300. CIA attacks have struck Pakistan's tribal areas on average once every five days during Obama's first term, back when um, he was rolling with that Nobel Peace Prize. Six times more than under George W. Bush. Well, that's how the Democrats like to roll. The covert drone war over 300 strikes on Pakistan. Okay, we're just talking about Pakistan. The strikes that went horribly wrong, uh, looks like it kind of outnumbers uh, uh, a bunch of hard for me to pronounce names. But let me just say this, this first guy, uh, Beitullah, was killed along with his wife. Mustafa was killed reportedly with six civilians. Ilyas was killed after a series of attempts. Okay, what do those attempts look like? Well, a catastrophic strike on a tribal gathering reportedly killed over 30 civilians, mostly tribal elders. Abu Yahya Al-Libi. Oh, Al-Libi. Okay, I guess I've heard that name before. Well, we need to assassinate him with a remote control drone, a remote control flying on drone immediately. Quote, I want to make sure that people understand actually Drones have not caused a huge number of civilian casualties for the most part. They have been very precise precision strikes against Al-Qaeda and their affiliates. President Barack Obama, Commander-in-Chief and Nobel Peace Prize Laureate, 2009. Oh, here's a graph of the drone deaths. And a uh, number of strikes, number of deaths, number of, you know... Innocent people, civilians, oh. <sighs> well, Bush killed too, but it looks baby in comparison. This big giant pie chart. Like, if it was a pizza, Bush has got one slice and Obama's eating the rest of it. The United States is the first nation to regularly conduct strikes using remotely piloted aircraft in an armed conflict. If we want other nations to use these technologies responsibly, we must then use them responsibly, says John Brennan, security advisor to Barack Obama. Well, I'm sure he probably thinks that they're doing a great job. Anyways, I'm finding a lot of uh, interesting articles and details at this website, uh, the Bureau Investigates.com. Obama terror drones, CIA tactics in Pakistan include targeting rescuers and funerals. I don't know how much more of these reports I can take. I'm being brutally honest when I say this is disgusting, it's despicable, and uh, I do believe that Barack Obama's Nobel Peace Prize needs to be revoked. You should just give it up. I'm delayed for Prez. TheMediaSpeaks.com.